Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. With a mix of pain and gratitude to God, I speak and share the word of God and encouragement with you this morning. This is over the passing away or passing on of our brother Shibuke. I encourage you to be straightened in your heart. That is part of God's program for humanity. God is the basis of accountability to him. The Bible says that it's appointed for everyone to die at one, one once and then it's appointed to man to die once and after which is the judgment to give account of what we do with our life with grace and assignment he has committed to our hand secondly death is just by definition means absence from from this body and to be present with the lord our brother is absent from this body today and he is present with the Lord now. I want us to understand that very carefully as we pass through the pain of this moment that will become a consolation for us. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 to 13 I will not have the time to read all through but I will just Go through it. In verse 1, see, we know that if our earthly house or this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal heavens. When this present body is dissolved, is committed to, 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 to the earth, we have a body with the Lord, eternal in heaven, where death have no dominion over it. In this present body, verse 2, we groan, we have pain, we have pain, but in the body that the Lord gave to us, it shall be free from pain, free from all form of sicknesses and all form of attacks. And we shall not be found naked because we are clothed with a heavenly body. Verse 4 says, while we are in this tabernacle, we groan, being burdened. We grow, we have pains, we have burdens, we have challenges that we go through. But with the body that is given to us in heaven, the body will give to us will no longer die. The Bible called this as these dying bodies. These dying bodies. See, our dying bodies make us groan and sigh. This body is subject to death. But the new body, the tabernacle that God gives to us in eternity is not subject to that. And that's why we look forward to that glorious moment. I want us to lose hope of eternal life. Let this be part of God's message to us that is appointed to us. That is the way of every man. That one day we too will go the same way if Jesus tarries. And those of us that will be alive when he will come will be raptured, but will drop the mortality. This death that this body that is subject to death shall be dropped. I want us to have the hope of eternal life that we shall meet with our brother again on the day of resurrection. And I pray this morning that none of us will miss that glorious moment. Praise the Lord. I don't want to go to testimony or eulogy about him, but I choose this opportunity to address ourselves as we all pass through this pain, which has not been common among us in our midst, and it shall not be common. Praise the Lord. So let's have this confidence that he's with the Lord, and we have the responsibility to walk to walk with the Lord so that when the Lord himself shall appear, we shall have a place with him. That we shall have a place with, with him. Praise God. We need to be sober. If verse 13 says, For whether we be beside ourselves, 
it is God, or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. I'm sober for your cause. I'm sober, I'm sober because of the magnitude, because of the attachment, but God has permitted it to be so. And we must encourage ourselves in the Lord and take a lesson. A lesson of the hope of resurrection. Courage of the hope of resurrection. I also want to request you to put our hands together, cooperate with, the, with every arrangement that the leadership has made to give our brother a befitting departure. Praise the Lord. I'm aware that the service of song will be on Tuesday. I encourage all of us to be there. We we'll sing and praise God. The same way we will gather together to sing that glorious morning when he shall come. We'll be together again. Contribute financially. Be present physically. I want to seize the opportunity to thank the leadership, the church committee, the members and all other people who have paid condolences. I want to thank you for the visitation. Thank you for coming together. Uh, the word I've heard from the family is very impressive. Knowing that yes, the, the, the family is appreciative of the church and the demonstration of love even for past events. I want us to continue in love for one another. Whether it's a time of pain or the time of pleasure, love should stand us out because love is the nature of God. It's part of the body of Christ, but in this, on this side of the world, it's part of communion center. Is our brother. We should learn to, learn to take everyone as our brother and as our sister. For God has brought us together for a purpose. I pray for you and the entire church this morning that God strengthen your heart. I wish I were around, but I share the same pain as you do. But I'm encouraged by the word of the Lord that death is not a finality. It is to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Coincidentally, for two weeks, God has been placing that word on my heart. I, I believe I share with my, my wife what that is. It's to be absent from the body and be present with the Lord. I didn't know what was coming, but that understanding had been coming to me for the past two weeks. I even told her, if I remember very well, that I'm, I'm getting to know what's dead. And the answer is to be absent for the body, but to be present with the Lord. I never knew that that word, God was programmed in my heart for a time like this. And I need to share this. That will give you hope. It's just, he is alive. He is living. He is with the Lord, with whom all of us shall be together. My question is, when the trumpet will sound, or when it's our turn, where will you be? Let's maintain the faith. Let's walk in the faith. Let's be strong in the faith. Let's accomplish the assignment. Let's walk to please the Lord. Let's serve God with all our earnestness, with all our strength, all our power, and all that has given to us. Let's not live as if we are our own. We own ourselves. God owns us. We are planted for an assignment. Assignment of impacting the world. Assignment of converting the world to him. The Lord bless you. The Lord strengthen you. The Lord give you courage. And I pray there shall not be untimely death in church. Anyone with any form of illness, ailment, call terminal, or by whatever name, by the name of Jesus, I command that sickness dismissed from such a fellow this morning. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. The Lord do you good. The Lord satisfy you with long life. The year will end well 
with you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah.